bam, now you have all kind of historical stock price data from the Polygon.io API in Python. <laughs> Finance family, it's your other brother Adam Get Bags, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get historical stock price data from the Polygon.io API in Python. So, first, open up your trusty Google. Go ahead, Google search Polygon API docs. If you've seen my other videos, I'll link them up here. Once you get to the website, you can go ahead and sign up for an account to get your API key. I cover everything there, so let's keep it moving here. So, once you've got an account set up and you've got your API key, go ahead and click open these Python docs. And then once you're in here, we want to click open this read the docs. So we'll have our Python docs here and then we'll have our Polygon docs over here. So in our Python docs, we can go ahead and click into getting started here. And then here we have our pip install instructions. So you can copy that out. If you're using Anaconda, you can come over here to environments and then click under base, hit the play button, open up a terminal and you can paste in your command there. So once that's all installed, you can go ahead and open up your spider. All of my scripts are available on my GitHub. I'll be sure to put the link in the description for you so you can follow along. So here we are in the script. We've got our pip install for the Polygon API client done. And then also for this example, we're gonna be using Plotly. So I have pip install Plotly here. You can do that as well. So we're back on the Python docs here. We have this block here. We're just gonna do a quick import and then we're gonna create our API client. So you can go ahead and you can copy this block out and you can paste it into your script. So here we have the import from the documentation, but I've also got DateTime and Pandas. And then here are our Plotly imports that are gonna help us when we're creating a candlestick chart. So here's where I import my API key. I'm bringing it in from a separate file, but to keep things simple, you can just assign your API key as a string to a variable called Polygon API key. And then here is where we're creating our client object. So we can go ahead and just run all this code to make sure everything's working correctly and it looks like everything is. And then up next, we're just gonna assign Apple as our stock ticker here. Awesome, up next, we have our first data request. We're gonna get some daily open, high, low, close data here using our client.gitags. But let's take a look in the documentation to see where this comes from. Awesome, so we're here in our Python docs. Let's go ahead and click under ags here. So here we are under git ags. We have our function here and then we can see the different parameters that we can input. We're gonna be using using ticker, multiplier, time span, to and from in our request. So they give some information here in the Python docs, but if you wanna take a closer look, we can flip over to our Polygon docs We can click under aggregates, and then we can see the different types of values that we can assign for our parameters here. So it's pretty straightforward. First, we have our stock ticker parameter here. The next, we have a multiplier and a time span, and the multiplier and the time span together are gonna to determine the width of the candle. So if we use one and day, each of our candles is gonna represent one day. I know groundbreaking, right? But if we used four and hour, then each of our candles is going to represent four hour bars. So if you use the time span drop down here, you can get an idea of the different frequencies that you can get for data. And then we have a from and a to, which just defines the date range of data to be gathered. All right, so let's put it all together here. We have client.getags, then we have our stock ticker parameter. We have one and day, and then we have a from and a to date range. Awesome, now that we understand how to put together a data request, let's go ahead and request some data. So we got our data request back. It looks like a list and it has these ag objects inside. So let's take a look at the first item in the list. And here we have an ag object. And if you use the type function, you can see that this is a special polygon object. And if you wanna see the attributes and methods, you can just use the dear function. So if you wanted to pull the high price out of the first candle in the list, you could just do something like this and there you go. So next in the script, we're just gonna put all this data into a data frame. So as you can see, very recognizable data here, but we have a timestamp. So let's go ahead and convert that timestamp. So to convert our timestamp to date time, we're gonna create this column called date, and then we're gonna apply this Lambda function here. So I went ahead and ran that, and you can see our date column here. And then next, we're just gonna set that to be the index. So now you can see we have the index over here and then we have our open, high, low, close volume data. And then here at the bottom script, we're just gonna generate a candlestick chart. Awesome, so now you can see we have our daily candlestick data, but let's take a look at a five minute chart. So I'll just comment that out, we'll uncomment this. You can see here the multiplier is five and our time span is minute. So this is gonna give us back five minute bars and then we'll run our script. So then you can see here we have our five minute bars. Awesome, so next we're gonna take a look at two hour price. And then here we have our two hour bars. As you can see, there's some gaps in the data. Um, obviously this is a weekend here. There's probably some settings you could tweak in Plotly just to condense all the data, but I'll leave that up to you. 
bam, now you have all kind of historical stock price data from the Polygon.io API in Python. Shout out to the Polygon team. Definitely going to be rolling out some more videos. Got a lot of good stuff planned. As always, fam, watch out for those red candles. You have my blessing. Let's go get these bags.